There's an old saying in coaching, if you want to be in our sport, if you want to be a good coach, you have to get good players. But if you want to be a great coach, you have to get great players. It's a player's game. And this year we've, we have better players than we've ever had. And that, that's not just their playing, it's, it's, it's how they conduct themselves as gentlemen and as leaders within the team. So the spirit is great, the energy is great, and the quality of play is, is as good as it's been since I've been here. One major thing that's helped us this year is that we've kind of, unlike past years, we have our own style that we like to enforce on other teams. We're not trying to adapt to their style much, so much. Being able to enforce our own style onto other teams and make them adapt to us is a key thing in our success. Some of the keys to our success so far this season is the fact that our team is truly unified. We kind of got rid of our toxic culture and people are less focused this year on their individual goals. Everyone's still hoping to improve individually, but more so we have a collective goal we want to reach as a team. And everyone's bought into that concept and we're all grinding and we know that the guy next to us has our back and they're going to work for us, so we return the favor. Greg and I have a great relationship. Um, we've been roommates for the past three years. Well, past four years, actually, and we spent a lot of time together uh, freshman year. I think the fact that we're such good friends off the field really helps our chemistry on the field. I, we always, I always make jokes that we're the highest scoring apartment in all the Centennial. We don't always need to talk about the things we're going to do or we want to do. We just kind of know what the other is always doing or where they are, and I think that helps us a lot in games. They've been great servants to Washington College soccer. They're team first guys. I heard someone recently say that, that if you're an alpha male, if you're a real alpha male, you don't have to act alpha. These guys are both alphas that don't act alpha. They're kind to their teammates, they're warm, and they let their game speak for itself. Um, making the tournament would, would mean everything to us. Uh, that was one of the reasons we, us uh, fifth year seniors came back is because we felt that we had underachieved with some of the years that we've been here and all of us have come from uh, pretty successful programs and maybe not achieving as much as we wanted to was definitely a driving factor and when we saw how good of a team we had, being able to be in this position and possibly make the tournament is like everything to us. Uh, when the tournament begins to reach our goal of winning, I think the biggest thing is that we all have each other's backs, we continue to work hard and uh, we don't take for granted the opportunity ahead of us. I think we all know how good we are, but we truly need to believe that and believe we can win. And no matter who we come up against, we, should, we know deep down we can beat them. And we need to play that way, play with confidence, and keep playing our style. Well, anyone who knows anything about Division III soccer knows how difficult the Centennial Conference is. There are no bad teams. Um, there are tons of really, really good teams, and we've been striving for many years to break into that upper echelon. To be among the best teams in the Centennial is to be among the best teams in the country, and we've been knocking at that door for a while. To get a result in the tournament, to bring home a trophy, would be immense for the program and for the college. It's been a little while for us, uh, but we've been working awfully hard to get there, and we think we have the talent and the spirit this year to make some noise.